Sigma Aldrich Accuspin System Histopac 1077 is a proven system for separating lymphocytes and other mononuclear cells from whole blood. The separated mononuclear cells can then be used for downstream applications and analysis such as flow cytometry, HLA typing, and many others. The effectiveness of the Accuspin System Histopac 1077 is due to the Accuspin 2, which is specifically designed with two chambers separated by a porous, high density polyethylene barrier, or a FRIT. Anticoagulated whole blood may be added to the top chamber of the tube without risk of mixing with the histopac 1077 in the lower chamber under the frit. On centrifugation, the whole blood descends through the frit to contact with the histopac 1077. The elements of greater density displace a volume of histopac 1077 above the frit, giving a clear separation of the blood components. The erythrocytes aggregate and the granulocytes become slightly hypertonic, increasing their sedimentation rate and resulting in pelleting at the bottom of the acuspin tube. Lymphocytes and other mononuclear cells remain at the plasma histopec 1077 interface. This dense band of mononuclear cells may be collected by pouring off the contents of the upper chamber or by means of a pipette. Erythrocyte contamination is avoided due to the barrier between the chambers. Hi, I'm Carrie Cupinyard and I'm a scientist at Sigma Aldrich in St. Louis, Missouri. Today we will show you a procedure for isolating lymphocytes and other mononuclear cells from whole blood and bone marrow using the Sigma Accuspin System Histiopaic 1077. This system simplifies whole blood processing, increases lymphocyte recovery, and is ideal for clinical trials and research studies. So let's get started. The Accuspin product line includes five different kits. Each kit is unique based on separation capacity, inclusion of histopac 1077, and a number of polypropylene radiation sterilized tubes fitted with a high density polyethylene barrier included. Product A1805 includes 20 12 milliliter sample tubes, each fitted with a high density polyethylene barrier secured at the 3 milliliter mark. Product A6929 contains 40 12 milliliter sample tubes. Again, each tube is fitted with a high density polyethylene barrier secured at the 3 milliliter mark, but also includes 3 milliliters of histopec 1077. Both products A1805 and A6929 have the capacity to separate between 3 and 6 milliliters of whole blood. Product A2055 includes 10 50 milliliter sample tubes, each fitted with the high density polyethylene barrier secured at the 15 milliliter mark. Product A7054 contains 12 50 milliliter tubes. Each tube is fitted with a high density polyethylene barrier secured at the 15 milliliter mark, but also includes 15 milliliters of histopec 1077. Product number A1805 will be used to demonstrate the separation of whole blood using the Accuspin system. It's important to remember that when working with human source substances, that proper precautions be exercised. To begin, Bring the histopec 1077 to room temperature. Once at room temperature, pipe at 3 milliliters of histopec into the upper chamber of each of the 12 milliliter Accuspin tubes. Centrifuge the tubes at 800 Gs for 30 seconds at room temperature to ensure all the histopec 1077 is below the high density polyethylene barrier. Once the tubes containing the histopec 1077 have been prepared, it would be a good time to label the tubes if your experiment requires it. Now sample can be added to the Accuspin tubes. Freely pour 3 to 6 milliliters of fresh anticoagulated whole blood into the upper chamber of each Accuspin tube. Next, centrifuge the Accuspin tubes containing the sample at 1000 Gs, maintaining room temperature for 10 minutes, or centrifuge at 800 Gs, maintaining room temperature for 15 minutes. Be sure the brake is turned off on your centrifuge for this step. After centrifugation, erythrocytes and granulocytes should pellet to the bottom of the Accuspin tube. Mononuclear cells should band at the interface between the histopec 1077 and the plasma. To recover the mononuclear cells, carefully aspirate the plasma layer with a pasture pipette to within 0.5 centimeters of the opaque interface containing mononuclear cells. The mononuclear band can be poured off into a clean centrifuge tube. At this point, the mononuclear band can be washed to prepare the cells for downstream analysis. The Accuspin System Histopac 1077's unique design greatly increases the yield of lymphocytes and other mononuclear cells compared to using Histopac 1077 alone, as this example shows. Within seconds of adding whole blood to the tube containing Histopac alone, the whole blood begins precipitating into the Histopac 1077 while in the Accuspin tube, the blood in the Histopac 1077 remains separated until centrifugation begins. The technical bulletin for the Accuspin system Histopac 1077 contains a number of useful tips for maximizing mononuclear cell recovery from whole blood and bone marrow. 
We've just shown you how to use the Sigma AccuSpin system Histiopeg 1077 to isolate mononuclear cells from whole blood. When doing this procedure, it's important to remember that both the blood and the Histiopeg 1077 be at room temperature. Also, make sure that the brake on your centrifuge is turned off. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.